My name is Raham Harag and I'm the first, but hopefully not the last, Saudi woman to climb Mount Everest. I'm a graphic designer by trade and a mountain climber by passion. And I'm a bit of a chameleon, so I never really know how to differentiate all the characters that I portray in my life. So my story with Everest was never actually about the mountain itself. It was, I was at a time in my life where I wanted something new and I wanted something different and I wanted something that would just drive my parents insane and make them look at me in a different light. Okay, I was at the point in my time where they were pushing me to do something and I didn't want to do it. So it, I wanted to rebel. So I kept checking online and trying to find something to do, some new experience to, to live. And I nearly gave up until randomly one day a girl who I didn't even know well at the time said, oh, I'm climbing the highest peak in Africa over the aid break. And as soon as she said that, I was so infatuated by this concept of climbing a mountain. I was cold, I was tired, I was hungry, I was hypothermic, nearly snow blind, but I never felt so alive. My parents' reaction was quite interesting. When I started to climb with Kili, Kilimanjaro, my dad said, one mountain only, you climb mountain and then finish. Don't ask for another mountain. Don't ask for Everest. Funny enough, he's the one that came and actually sent the application. The same man that was fighting my love of mountains was the one that sent me in the end. I felt these opposite emotions and I was happy and I was sad and I was near crying but near giggling. It was so, such a strange feeling because I think I never imagined that I'd be able to get there. I've learned a lot over the years. First is that there's no shame in failure. There's no shame in failing. A lot of people are, don't even start trying something new because they're too afraid to fail. And that's where the problem is. There's, the fact that you failed means that you're trying something new. If, if a Saudi woman managed to touch the sky, what makes their dreams too far from reach? 